What's going on everybody? Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all doing well. We're still here at Hayden's place and Hayden's here. Yes, sir. He still stole his position and in today's <laughs> video, me and Hayden are going to be having a little talk. We're going to be going back and forth a little bit and telling you guys sort of how we found our passion of sort of, you know, how did we find what we're doing today and do we enjoy it? You know, sort of giving people an explanation that have no idea what they want to do. You know, you see a lot of people going, you know, they graduate high school and then they go to college and they just choose some random degree they're going to study for because they have no idea what they want to do. You know, when people ask you when you're a little kid, you know, what do you want to do when you grow up? You know, um, in adult size, FBI I'm, still, agent. Yeah, I'm still not grown up in adult size, <laughs> but like I've been able to mature my brain, I guess, and sort of figure out what I like doing the most, what makes me money and what, you know, helps me live my life. Yeah. The way I want to. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Um, you know, obviously, we, we've done a lot of things and now getting into multiple other things, which is, you know, the, the whole balance between finding one thing you're, you're per se good at or at least learning it's working, you're successful, focusing in on that, getting it working, continuing to do it, scale it, and then venturing into other things that are more so passions. So for the both of us, I know we met doing something completely different than what we're doing now. And neither of us do that thing anymore. And that's Instagram influencers. So not buying shout outs, we were the Instagram influencers. So that was one thing. And I've done a, a whole barrage of different businesses, like a lot of, I wouldn't even call them businesses, but you know, hundreds of little tests that I've fired off, little ventures, little different things I've tried to make money. And the whole purpose of everything in the beginning on certain things, like I got into e-commerce because I saw people making money. It's as simple as that. I got into e-commerce because people were making money selling products online without touching them. So I did it too. <laughs> you know, that was the main thing. And then as you get into it, there's certain things where it's like, okay, once you start making money, then it eventually, you know, the money's fun, but after the money's coming in for a while, it becomes boring. Now, how do you spin that to make the same thing you're doing interesting, okay? Putting a little bit more effort into the marketing, okay? And then taking those skills elsewhere, focusing more on brand building versus stores. What's private labeling, you know, learning all this, holding inventory in person. I flew to China to meet with suppliers. <laughs> Fuck it. You know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> like you're just gonna do a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's the thing. It. Like people have no idea what they want to do, and they're not making do money something. or whatever. Just it do is. it quick today, right they now. They just—they're not trying. Things. Exit off this video, okay? Me and Tanner suck at videos. It's not even Basically. gonna be that good, okay? Just—just just think of something. Go, boom, ready? X. Go to your tab. However many have open. X is it in this corner. Yeah, yeah, one yeah, of those. This corner, get X. But X. really, it's just like get trial and this. error. Like it's like the same thing with marketing and e-commerce and all that. You know, getting good at a specific business venture and making money with it. You know, it's sort of the same way in life. You know, maybe you start something. You, you know, you study to be a doctor. You get your degree. You start, you know, doing doctor things, whatever they do, and you love it. Then that's good for you. You keep doing that your whole life. You enjoy it, whatever it is, or you know. Maybe you start some business and you enjoy it, or maybe you don't enjoy it, but you know, you go on to the next thing but and figure it out. I just see way too many people, whether they're younger, they're older, going in to study for something that they don't really care about, they don't have a passion for, they don't really know exactly what they're doing or what they're gonna be doing in the future. They're just doing something that's sort of a time placeholder. They're not actually trying things, you know, taking an actual risk. You know, that's something as an entrepreneur and a business owner. You have to take risk, calculated risk, uncalculated risk. You know, things just happen and you have to figure out how to adapt to those specific situations. And as time goes on, you start trying all these different things. Then you figure out, you know, which one do I like the best out of these five things I tried? Okay, you know, I like this one thing here, but how do I do something I like even better? You know, find something similar to that, you know, job or, you know, business, whatever it is, and start going after that. And, you know, over time, things just sort of, you know, you make money, you lose money, trial and error, whatever it is. And in the end, you end up doing something you like. You know, now, from now where we're at, both of us from a year ago, is completely different. We're doing completely different things and we make completely different money. We were able to find something we enjoyed and made a little bit of money off of it and then tied it to something bigger and made a bigger picture out of ourselves to make more money and build our businesses overall. Yeah, and one thing I want to point out that I've now learned from you know doing a lot of this stuff myself for quite some time is, you know, obviously there's people who've been doing it longer, but your, your passion and your interest for something can fade. And oh, so yeah. this is always very interesting to me because there's some things you do for like a week and then you're sick of it. You know, there's some things you do for a year and then you're sick of it. Maybe you do it your whole life. You know, I was telling you, I, I drove a, a Tesla for the first time last week. I was bored. I thought it was the coolest thing ever when I got in it. 
30 minutes later, I wanted no part of driving that vehicle anymore. I got bored, okay, with then for you car people, there's no shifting, there's no noise, it's lame. So, you know, that that's one thing. And now for me, one thing that I, I wanna to kind of bring in and tie in with what you said about, you know, testing a lot of different things, trying things and finding it. This is something that someone very, very successful told me one time. A lot of people always focus on saying, oh, one day I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna do this, this is gonna happen in the future, I'm gonna be CEO, gonna leave this job. We'll bring it down to a micro topic, you know, that, that in the, like a microscopic focus. What did you do today? When you go to bed, what did you do today to slowly achieve that, okay? It doesn't have to be fast, you don't need that result tomorrow. But what did you do today and yesterday to achieve that in five years? What was the little action you took? What was that little thing? Most people are not consistent with what they do and they're, they're always like, oh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Look, it's never gonna happen. It's, it's not, yeah. unless you actually do that. And you have to do that now. So think about that. Literally ask yourself this right now. I don't care what time, I don't know what time you post on YouTube. What have you done so far today? Maybe it's this video. What have you done to move yourself closer to what your goal is? It might not have to be an end goal, but your goal- and One thing I see is another. a lot of people don't even have goals. They don't have an yeah. end goal. You know, some people, they want to be a millionaire. Everybody wants to be a millionaire, a billionaire, whatever it is, have a ton of money, but they don't make it a realization. They always think of it as a fantasy. They don't know exactly, you know, do I want to be a millionaire in the e-commerce industry or, you know, open, opening taco shops, you know, whatever it is. Nobody really has this realization. They think it's just too far-fetched and, you know, they have to stay working this nine-to-five job. But once you actually set these realistic goals, you know, any goal is realistic. Whatever you want to achieve, you make it realistic in your own reality. Like you said, you know, each day moving on, you sort of calculate and figure out, you know, what little action do I take now or big action, whatever it is, that will add up over time in order to achieve that goal. Maybe it's making $1,000. Maybe it's making $10,000. It doesn't even have to be a monetary value. It can be something like losing weight or anything like that. You know, when it all comes down to it, it's just about building these goals and then figuring out how to achieve them. And over time, like as things start to go on, you figure out, you know, what do I enjoy most out of all these things I did? And then you just dive deep into those specific things. Yeah, definitely. You know, it, it takes time too, which is back to what I said at the beginning. That's why I said it is I've tried so many different things. And while they weren't like, okay, stock trading, boom, e-commerce, okay freaking opening a mechanic shop. It's like hundreds of little things inside of each of those categories, you know? I've tried so many different ways of doing so many different things and so many different things failed. And now you look at me and you might be like, okay, he makes money. That's cool, I do, okay? Yeah. But the amount of things I've done that haven't worked is stupidly enormously bigger than the amount of things that have worked. And now almost everything I do works, which is interesting. On a bigger picture scale, so I do little things every day. Like on, let's do Facebook ads for an example. That's the, the primary thing. So many ads that I run don't work, but that still contributes to overall. By doing that, that's what leads to me finding what works. But I don't ever like launch companies that, that now really don't work. That doesn't happen to me. It doesn't happen because I don't start it if it's not gonna work. And I'm very, very confident. I do my research. I know what goes into it and I understand that. And I get that information before I start. So it kind yeah. of eliminates that. It's like a calculated risk. You understand, okay. you know, over time you start to build up. I don't up. like risk. I don't know about you. I, I don't think entrepreneurs are risk takers. I kind of think it's the opposite. It's calculated. Sometimes. Sometimes I do stuff that's stupid that doesn't make sense. Yeah, this guy does. And, uh, you know, I lose money, whatever it is. <laughs> but like <Gucci>. each... <laughs> no, that's not a risk. That's just straight. That's just stupid. Lighting money on fire. But, um... You know, as things go on, you sort of learn. I try to take everything as a learning process. Instead of like, let's say I start some business, I lose five grand, $500, $5, it doesn't matter. I look at it, you know, what did I learn from this? You know, how can I, the next time I start and try and start this business, how do I avoid that specific obstacle that caused me to fail? A lot of people, they end up, you know, confronting a failure and then that stops them completely from achieving that end goal that they originally had in mind. But instead of doing that, you have to work with an open mind. See, you know, what did Hayden do wrong when he was trying to start this business? What did I do wrong? And now how when I go the next still time? Do wrong. Exactly. I was, I was telling him the other day about how I got clipped for almost 100K. It's gone. Bye-bye. There goes a fun car. It's money. I, I still lose. I, I, there's things I mess up on that sometimes are outside of my control. So don't ever feel bad if you do that, especially on a micro topic or microscopic level, I guess. You know, if you're... If you have three hundred dollars and you lose it trying to you know run ads, that's such a small. You think bigger picture. Do you care about? You might care a lot about your three hundred dollars right now, but if you're you know on your way trying to become a millionaire, multi-millionaire, billionaire, whatever your goal is, you know just from a money standpoint, that three hundred dollars is nothing. 
you know so yeah. even me losing like I, I didn't even flinch when I lost the amount of money I recently lost which is what it is I took the money <laughs> I wish. Split it with me, bro. Split it. I wish it went to a good cause. I don't know. The Tanner Gucci Foundation. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. This guy. That's another thing. Just being smart with your money. Whether it's like, it's just like, I'm in online school now, but I know just in high school, I went to an actual school for three years. I'm a senior now. It's like kids, it's like they didn't have money for food. They didn't have money for gas. Like, it was just, you know, I'm not trying it's to crazy. bash anyone. It's just like, it's, it's your own fault, I would say. It's not your own fault. It's just that, a lot of people don't have the ambition and the motivation to do things on their own in order to make money, whether it's working a job or just doing their own thing. Um, it's like, you you it's, are a product of your environment. You know, I grew up in a place where I've never met an entrepreneur, really, like even like an, a grown adult. I was never in that environment and like, you know, sufficiently introduced to that, which is fine. But you know, I grew up there. I remember not being able to pay for lunch in middle school. All I wanted was their freaking mini corn dogs because they're <laughs> fire. Like, you know, and not being able to do that. Now it I can sucks. now I can fill up a fridge full of mini Trust corn me, dogs. That's, that's why you see me do stupid shit with little things like that. It's like, yo, I remember when I first moved into this place, I had the fattest box of the freezy popsicle icy things. Like right my from mom the 4th would of never July, let me buy them. Because my mom would never <laughs> let me buy them. So guess what I did? I went and bought every single fucking box at Walmart and sent her a picture. Stacked up in the kitchen. Couldn't even fit in the freezer. Because you know, it's like <laughs> that's completely off topic. It makes no sense. But I don't even I don't even know where we're going with this anyways. It's just but so like that, that's you know it's the end result. Back to the whole thing, result. you know. It's that, just, that's yeah, hope hope not. But <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> end result. It's just a bunch of popsicles stacked up. Hey, it makes me happy. But know? I mean it's little just, things, you know, I, I remember not being able to pay for things and it, it was never little things know, add up, guys. It was never fun. Honestly. So back to the whole product of your environment, just to touch on that. When I first started then working in my environment to make money, I immediately used all of that money, all of it, to start traveling to put myself in real environments. I remember going to California on my own dime. I saw my first ever Lamborghini when I was 15 years old. I remember spending a month and a half in, in Miami, like bumming on these couches with other entrepreneurs that I'd met while I was there. I went there for four days, ended up staying for a month and a half because I met so many people. Boom, go talk to people. And I was the biggest introvert, you know? And I was 16 at the time, which is kind of sketchy to think about, but. You know, putting myself in that and I've seen all these nice cars being in the penthouses, like, you know, meeting crazy rappers and all these entrepreneurs, it literally blew my mind. So I, I put myself in other environments and then I saw that and I'm like, yo, that's dope. And I wanted it. So I would say, I don't want to drag off this video too long. We, me and Andy could just talk forever. Like if we had a podcast, it'd be like five hours long each. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I, should we start a podcast? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think I want to. But. I don't know. But anyways, just like as far as actually finding your passion, figuring out something that you enjoy doing that can also make you money, it's just trying things, guys. Go out there, try things. Um, don't just waste time. You know, even I waste time every day. I'll sit there, watch a YouTube video, whatever. Every but it's day. like We both waste time every day. It's a thing. But it's like we know how to manage our time in order to achieve these goals we have long term. Maybe we finish them early. Maybe we finish them late. But most of the time, we know what we're doing to you know, do it on time, you know, not everybody, you see all these entrepreneurs say they hustle, grind, you know, all that stuff, but it's not like we just work 24 seven, everyone needs a break, we get out, go drive, we go out to eat, you know, whatever it is, it's not like we're these just robots that sit here all day, and you know, that's what we do a majority of the time, Yeah, it's like, it's, we enjoy it. My, my saying, and this is something I, I came up with, a lot of people agreed a lot, disagreed, my mom heavily disagrees with this, in order to create balance, you first must create imbalance. So if you want balance, you have to first have imbalance. And what I mean by that, if you want you know, the life where you're able to work a little bit, travel, spend time, spend money, have money, this and that, have the full picture, you're gonna have to spend a very sizable amount of time in most situations just going 100% on work, sacrificing all of those other things. That might mean I have friends who have lost their girlfriends because of this, lost their wives, like, you know, taking out a second mortgage on their home, put their relationship with everyone they care about in jeopardy because of this, because they had to create that imbalance to then create balance. And you go back into imbalance phases to create the next level. You know, I've, I've gone through the imbalance. I was in it. I've been in it. I'm still in it, like in certain situations. So now I'm curious to try my first ever balance. Yeah, that's my per like a little insight into my personal life that's going to be coming up soon as soon as I'm done with what I'm working on. So, yeah, let's close off this video, I guess.
I don't want to drag it on. I know you guys got yeah. stuff to do now that you know what you have to do. Start Go testing. Try Seriously. something. Go out I there. I don't care what it is. Try it and then come back here in like a month and just drop it in the comments. Let us know. What do it happened. on a new video. I'm not going to go look in the comments on this video. <laughs> I actually just like five minutes ago, I was looking back at some of my old videos that got a ton of views from months ago, like, you know, eight months ago. Someone commented five months ago, Stan, I came back three months later and he hasn't responded any more comments. Whoa, it's sketchy. That's a scammer right there. He said he replied. <laughs> what do I, re I post every day. What do I reply? You know, like I got. I don't, we don't look back at every if single you, video. If YouTube was the only thing I do, like some of these other fugazis out here, fucking bullshit. Like, sure, but it's, sorry, that's not all I do. Yeah, you know? we got other stuff to do, other things, not just Indeed. YouTubers. I wouldn't sure, even consider myself YouTube. To. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you, Hayden, for being in this. Of course. Follow him at Bow Bowls on Instagram. Fuck was that? Let's <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Later.